This is Jerry Hendigus inviting you to join me as once again we relive those great old radio classics. Welcome to the special edition of Same Time, Same Station. For those of you not familiar with it, Same Time, Same Station is a long-running, award-winning, weekly syndicated radio series exploring the history of the golden days of radio. In this very special edition, intended to complement my good friends David and Susan Siegel's excellent book, Radio and the Jews, we will be listening to sound clips from some of the radio programs detailed in that book. And now, without further delay, let's get to it. One of the most popular series of phonograph recordings sold during the first quarter of the 20th century was known as the Cohen on the Telephone Records. Because Cohen was a common name that could not be trademarked, as many as eight different comedians tried their hand at this routine. Two of the eight, Joe Heyman, who made some 30 Cohen recordings for Columbia, and Monroe Silver, who made 19 such recordings for several labels, including Victor, Banner, Emerson, and Silvertone, are the best known and most remembered. Heyman's 1913 recording became the first comedy record that claimed to have sold over one million copies. Think of it, one million copies in 1913. Most, if not all, of the original Cohen recordings have been preserved, and those wishing to sample the humor and accent commonly heard in early 20th century America can obtain these copies from dealers specializing in old sound recordings. Typical of the topics Cohen discussed during these three-minute recorded monologues were his son, his tailor, his automobile, the radio, the gas company, the plumber, and other quite mundane or otherwise ordinary subjects. At least one of the Cohen on the telephone routines was broadcast on network radio March 14, 1935, when Monroe Silver appeared as a guest on Rudy Valley's Flashman's Yeast Hour. In addition to his traveling vaudeville act, Silver also performed his Cohen skit in, of all things, an early 1920s short silent film. From the Rudy Valley show of March 14, 1935, here is Monroe Silver with Cohen on the Telephone. Twenty years ago, everyone who had a phonograph had a record of Cohen on the telephone. Monroe Silvers, who made that record, might be called the forerunner of the canters, winds, and tenors who provide jokes for hearth and home today. His comedy stands the test of years remarkably well, as you will shortly see. We present one of the eight famous Victor recording artists, the original Cohen in his original act, Monroe Silvers in person. A description of the efforts of Mr. Cohn, who used the telephone for the first time. Mr. Cohn is trying to call up the manager of the First National Bank, who also happens to be his landlord. The conversation is as follows. Hello? Are you there? Hello? Hello? What? What number do I want? Well, what numbers have you got? Excuse me, it's my fault. I want Central 5050. I say I want Central 5... Yes, 5050. I say, miss, am I supposed to keep on saying hello? And are you there until you come back again? Well, don't be long. Hello? Are you there? Uh, are you the bank? Yes. I want to see the manager, please. I say I want to see... What did you say? This is not a telescope, it's a telephone. Well, you're very clever this morning, ain't it? Do me a favor. Hang a small piece of crepe on your nose, your brain is dead. And if I have any more of your appointments, I'll speak to the manager about you. I said... Uh, Oh, I'm, you, you are the manager. I beg your pardon. I'm much obliged. I rang you up to tell you that I'm your tenant, Cohen. I say I'm your tenant, Cohen. No, I ain't going. I'm stopping here. I say I'm your tenant, Cohen. No, not Lieutenant Cohen. I want to tell you that last night the wind came and blew down the shutter outside my house. And I want you to send... Hello, are you there? I said last night the wind came. Give in. Give in. 
that makes a noise like that. The wind. The wind. V-U-V, the wind, wind. Well, well, that blew down manchetta outside my house last night. I said, I'm not telling you to shut up. I want you to send the carpenter to mend the shutter. I said, I want you to send the carpenter. A ca- a, to mend a carpenter. To mend. I said, hello, are you there? I said, last night the wind came and blew down the shutter outside my house. And I want you to send the carpenter. A carpenter. A voiceman, yes. One of those fellows that hit the hammer with the nail. Hello, are you there? I said, I want you to send the workman. Yes, the workman. I want you to send the workman to mend the damaged shutter. I say, I want you to send the workman to mend. Two men. No, not two men. One man. Two men. One man to mend the damaged shutter. I said, I want you to send a man to mend the damaged I'm not staring at you. I'm only telling you. Hello, are you there? I said, last night the wind came and blew down the shutter outside my house. And I want you to send a carpenter. A carpenter. Ah, never mind. I'll have it fixed myself in the morning. 